Welcome to Serif WebPlus X4. WebPlus provides a wide and flexible range of hyperlink options, allowing you to provide easy navigation for visitors to your website. In this tutorial, we look at a few of these options. On this yoga and fitness center site, on the site tab, you'll see that the top five pages are blue in color and have a red check mark next to their names. This means that these pages are included in the main site navigation. And if we look at the navigation bar, you can see that these pages are all displayed. The bottom two pages are grey in colour and do not have a red check mark next to their names. These pages are excluded from the navigation bar. If I right click one of these and choose Page Properties, you'll see that the Include in Navigation checkbox is not selected. So, if my site visitors can't get to these pages from the navigation bar, I have to provide another way to access them. I can create hyperlinks that will let my site visitors open these pages by clicking on some text. I'll add these hyperlinks to my master page A because I want them to display on all pages of my site that use this master page. To create my first hyperlink, I select the Terms of Use text and click Hyperlink. In the dialog, I specify that I want to link to a site page and then I choose the Terms of Use page from the drop-down list. I want this page to open in a separate browser window, so in the Target Window or Frame list, I'll choose New Window. And my hyperlink is added. I'll just repeat this process to link to the Privacy Policy page. Now if I preview my site in my web browser, I can click on these links to open the respective pages in a new window. My fitness classes page is a long page. Rather than have my site visitors scroll to find the classes they are interested in, I want them to be able to click these links at the top of the page to jump to the relevant section. And to do this, I can use anchors. To create my first anchor, I select the circuit section heading and choose Anchor from the Hyperlinks drop-down list. I'm happy with the default Anchor name, so I won't change this. Now I need to link my heading to my Anchor. I just select the heading text and click Hyperlink to open the Hyperlinks dialog. This time, I choose Anchor, choose the page containing the Anchor, and then the circuit's Anchor itself. I want the link to open in the same window, so I'll choose same window as my target window. Now if I preview my site in my web browser, when I click on the circuits header, I jump straight to the circuits timetable section. You can add anchors to your navigation bar. To do this, select the anchor and click to open the anchor dialog again. Now select the include anchor in navigation checkbox and type the title you want to display in your navigation bar. Repeat for all of the anchors you want to include on the navigation bar. Now go to your navigation bar. Mine's on my master page. Right click and choose Edit Navigation Bar. Select the Include Anchors checkbox. And now when I preview my site, I can hover over the Fitness Classes button to see my list of anchors. Clicking on one takes me straight to the section I want to view. Before we move on, I just want to show you another type of anchor. At the bottom of the page, notice that I've created a back-to-top text object. I want my site visitors to click this text to jump back to the top of the page. WebPlus provides a ready-made anchor specifically for this purpose. To create the link, I select the object and click Hyperlink. I choose Anchor and my Fitness Class page, and this time I select Top from the Anchor drop-down list. Now I'll preview my page. I can jump back to the top of the page by clicking this link. My Meet the Team page contains a selection of photos that I've resized and cropped on the page. I'm now going to create hyperlinks that will allow my site visitors to click on one of these small images to open its full-size version. I select the picture and open the hyperlinks dialog. Now I choose Picture new window. I'll preview my page again. If I click on the picture, 
the full-size version opens in a new browser window. If you're working with large image files, this is a very efficient way to present them and makes for a much faster page load. We've explored a few of the hyperlink options provided by Web+, but you may want to take a look at the other hyperlink types available. For example, you can link to an external web page or email address, to an RSS feed, or even to a Serif Web Resources smart object.